Hi, welcome to the first episode of Digital Art TV. I'm Brooke, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make asteroids in GIMP for like if you draw spacecapes or whatever. Um, I couldn't really find anything on the internet about how to make these, so I just kind of came up with my own version um, by modifying the rocky planet making thing, and it comes out pretty good. Not, you know, like, extremely well, but pretty good. So, go ahead and open GIMP, because and go to new file and I find that it works really good if you use something that's like square you know 400, 400, 600, 600, something like that I'm gonna go with 400, 400 just cause I like the size and it's good for transforming into brushes later if like you, you wanted to save it and just use it as a brush but anyway first thing you go to colors no filters okay, sorry and then render clouds and plasma then you want to turn this fairly high to something with a lot of black and red in it That would do good. And then press OK. Once that renders, then go to colors, desaturate, and desaturate with luminosity so you get a lot of black and darker colors. Because it makes it look better later. Then go to filters, distort. Or coordinates. And if that'll ever come up. There we go. My computer's a little slow. So bear with me. Um, unclick the two polar button. And the map to top button. And then click OK. Then go back to filters. Store. Polar coordinates. And click the two polar and then map from top and it should look like this but occasionally it doesn't for some reason and you'll have to click click this map backwards to make it look like this rounded planety looking thing but that's what you're going for, the rounded planety looking thing. Then you get your healing tool and put the size on somewhere close to four works best. And just heal this middle part by bobbing like that. Maybe move it a little. Maybe just make it so it doesn't look like it goes in right there. And then go to filters, map, bump map. And 
go down here to elevation and put it all the way up and then move the depth up to at least 50 you can go all the way to 60 but it looks kinda dark so I keep it around like 50, 55 Then you want to take your round selection tool and select as much as possible. You don't have to get the whole thing, but just a large chunk of it that looks rocky in the middle. Because sometimes this outer bit doesn't really look that rocky or plant-ish. So, select, go to select, invert and then delete. Then you want to go to select, invert again, copy, and paste as new layer because the um, Move it to center. Whenever you made the uh, planet down here, um, I forgot to tell you, do it on a new um, layer with a transparent background because if you do it on your background layer, it creates this white stuff, and then you have to like cut it whenever you go to use it in another picture. It's just really annoying. <coughs> so delete the background layer and deselect select none I'm used to working in paint.net and it's like deselect but anyway then right click on your um layer your new layer and click layer to image size so it makes it as big as the rest of the stuff and then go to filters, distort, eye warp. And this is where you get creative. <laughs> you take small, you make the brush kind of big, or the radius, and just dent it, like majorly. And make small strokes so it doesn't like really squarish and like just like it's flattening that edge and just crumple it up real good and make it not a circle <laughs> <coughs> mine typically turn out looking like stars because I just like stars or something <laughs> it's like in me pretty good. Then go to shrink. Well, go ahead and press OK so it saves whatever you just did so that, that you don't have to go back and redo that if your shrink doesn't work right. Then go back down to map. No. Distort. I warp. And I'm not positive I pressed the right thing. Okay, yeah I did. Change it to shrink from move <coughs> and click right where these dented in places are. Not a lot, but just a little bit to make it look like it's going backwards, kind of like away from you, and just give it more of a 3D effect. <coughs> and you can also like go in the middle here and make indents and whatnot. So and make it really look like a um asteroid hunk of rock flying through space. And you might have to play with it a while before you're like really happy with it. Cause like I don't like how this side looks but yeah. 
okay. And there you go, that's pretty much it. You could always, though, alpha to selection this and go to gradient. Um, FG to transparent and like make it more shadowed on one side so like if there's like a sun or something in the um that looks good in the um sorry about that my computer keeps wanting to restart on me I'm not even sure what it updated um <coughs> But it just makes it look more, you know, realistic and 3D. But, yeah. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Comment and subscribe.